Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2025 BMW 430i Coupe. Huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing this vehicle for me today. Take a look at their website, that link is down in the description. So this 430 is finished off in Vegas red metallic. MSRP is just over $60,000. Now this is powered by the two liter twin power turbo inline four cylinder. It's now paired to the 48 volt hybrid system and paired to the eight speed automatic, pumping out 225 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. This model is rear wheel drive. It weighs in right around 3,500 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in five and a half seconds with a top speed of 155 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 15.6 gallons. You'll expect to see around 25 miles per gallon in the city, 34 out on the highway. This also has a wheelbase of 112.2 inches. Its overall length is 188. It has a width of 72.9 and a height of 54.6 inches. Now this particular 430i is also equipped with several different options. We have the M Sport package as well as the M Sport Pro package, premium package, and the uh, parking assistance package. So it is very well equipped and it also has a great exterior look, especially with this red metallic. Now for the 25 year model, there are a few slight changes and upgrades compared to the 2024. We'll start off with the headlight housing, which has a nice dark housing to it. Everything is LED, of course. There's also the blue accents within. We have the upgraded turn signals, which have that quick blip to them. Now there's also the kidney grill finished off in gloss black. All the brushed aluminum accents are new for the entire pattern there. There's a forward facing camera, all the parking sensors too and then a lot of cutouts in the lower section with all the gloss black accents to give it a great touch. And then some very subtle lines that run down the hood as well. Now this model is also equipped with the 19 inch wheels that have the gloss black design to them. There's also the red M Sport brake calipers, power folding side mirrors with the camera and the turn signal. There's also a sunroof up top. All of the window trim is gloss black as well. And there's some nice lines that run down the side including the lower side skirt there, which pokes out slightly, but also gives it a really nice coupe design with the slope of the rear glass there. And then in back, this has a very small gloss black trunk mounted spoiler. There's the updated LED taillights with these fiber bundles that run throughout it, which is neat to see. There's the backup camera in the lower section and then the quad tip dual exhaust. There's also gloss black accents for those tips as well as that diffuser. Now this also has remote start, so just triple tap on that lock button. And it started up, you can't hear it, it's very quiet, but you can also use the key fob to shut it off as well. You can use the key fob to unlock and pop this trunk. Or you can just push the button up underneath and it will open up. Now being a coupe, this still has a good bit of storage space in the back. There's no storage underneath the floor, but you do have some bins on both sides where you can place additional items and you can even fold down all three seats. So when you do that, that gives you a lot more interior space, of course, to make this a practical vehicle. And then you have the power operations for that trunk on that upper right. Now, when the vehicle does lock, all I need to do is grab the door handle, of course, to lock and unlock it as needed. And then this interior has a nice design to it with the Harman Kardon audio, all the brushed accents. There's the trunk release, memory seating adjustments, window and side mirror controls. And then M is also down on the door sill there with the brushed aluminum. And this has a very nice set of leather seats. They are power operated, minus the one manual adjustment for that leg support there. And then the easiest way to hop into the back seats, just fold that backrest up and the seat is going to work its way forwards, allowing you to hop into the back. So at five foot 10, it's not the smallest. We have plenty of legroom already with where that seat is. There's a climates right in the middle. And then as far as headroom goes, I'm pretty much touching the headliner, but it's not bad if I had to ride around town. We have a little bit of storage, armrest, large window here. And then right in the middle, you also have the armrest along with the cup holder. So you can open those up. You can also fold down this middle one individually. If you need to do that, you want a little bit higher armrest or you need access into the rear there. So it's not bad. You're not buying this for a full four seater, but if you had to, you got plenty of room along with that storage. Now this is a low vehicle, so it is easy to enter. 
where we have the solid leather steering wheel along with the black stripe there. Flat bottom design, really nice spokes on both sides there with the M logo. But let's fire this up and take a listen to how the 430 sounds. And coming back to the digital gauge cluster, you'll see miles per hour on the left side, tack on the right, along with what gear the vehicle is in. And then there's also information right in the middle where you can use this button here to further go through that content. So you can scroll through and view all of this information, just depending on what you need to see for the day. So you have a lot of good vitals to look at. And then you can also scroll over to the layout. So you can adjust how you would like to view all that information. And then you can also go to the head up display where you have three different settings to view all that information. And again, it just depends on what you'd like to have front and center. Now this also has brushed aluminum on the paddle shifters. It's on the rest of the accents for the steering wheel. You have your Bluetooth and voice adjustments along with some audio controls. And then cruise control is on that left side. Now over on this left side, there's all the headlight adjustments. We have the new design for the adjustment for the air vent. And then as we take a look at the infotainment system, it's very easy to go through this system. We have a split screen on the home screen. So you can go through info on this left side and then you have the navigation on the right side. Now you can also click on home, which would get you back to here. You can go into the rest of these icons for your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you can use all these shortcuts down below to further go through this system, which is very helpful. You also have your phone there that you can get into along with all of your climates. There's also a shortcut to get into the heated steering wheel and the heated seats. You can pull the nav up in full screen, get into your music, and then back to the home screen there. So very easy to go through that. We have this optional trim piece that is just underneath that with some colored accents in the lower section. You have your fan adjustments. There's volume and tuning along with some defrosters. There's also wireless charging with auxiliaries and cup holders underneath this lid here. More brushed aluminum accents surrounding it. And then let's put this into reverse where there's the backup camera. This model also has automatic parking along with the backup assistance. And then you have the 3D view, so you can go through around the entire vehicle. There's also another top-down view if you need to use it. And then drive is going to be all the way to the back. You can push on this button right here to get that forward-facing camera in full screen. Park is on the back side, and then there's also an ambient light on the top of that shifter. Now on the left side, there's traction control, parking sensors, your engine start stop, and then you also have the different driving modes. So if I push on sport, it will turn red. There's Comfort and then Eco Pro with a few different settings within each one of those. There's Auto Hold and the E-Brake. You have some auxiliaries in the armrest with additional storage, as well as in the glove box there. Garage door buttons are up top, and then you have the controls for that automatic sunshade, as well as being able to open up the sunroof. And here's a look at visibility with the large window back there. It makes those pillars pretty thin. So that way you can easily see over both shoulders. As we set up now behind the wheel for the all new 430i, I recently drove the 2024 430i a few months ago, and it's a little bit hard to see the differences, but when you look at them back to back, especially the steering wheel, we do have a little bit more power now with that 48 volt hybrid system and then some exterior styling elements. So I wouldn't call it a major update or upgrade, but we just have a nice kind of refresh for this 4 Series. I also just drove the M440i, so if you wanna see that review, check out that, because we have a few different options for the 4 Series. Obviously, we have the M4 as well, which I have been able to drive quite a few of those too. So there's a big spread between what you are looking out of your four-seater coupe from BMW. Let's put this one into a sport mode now, and we can put it into the sport setting for the manual shifting, where, as you heard earlier, it's a very, very quiet vehicle. This is more of a luxury focus style coupe from BMW, not necessarily having all of the performance like the M version would or the M4. And again, just depends on what you're looking to do or get out of your vehicle, but it's still got a little bit of power to it to give you a nice acceleration to merge, things like that. And handling seems to be pretty good. That's what I like about BMWs is, while this isn't the highest performing 4 Series, 
it still gives you some of the handling characteristics to make this fun around some twisty roads, things like that, but it doesn't give you that added performance or suspension that you don't want. This would make for a great daily driver because of how comfortable it is. Again, how quiet it is. There's not a lot of road noise, minimal wind noise for the speeds that I'm going today, but it just gives you a well-refined vehicle and something that you can daily drive. We do also have functional driving modes. So if I put it into eco mode, it still allows you to use these paddle shifters, but you are going to get limited throttle response. So it's going to be a little bit slower there, obviously just to help save on some MPG, but you're also getting a very fuel efficient vehicle as well with the four cylinder engine in this versus the six cylinders in the uh, next steps up. So if you're looking for kind of that best blend between having something to daily drive, you like the coupe look, the coupe aspect to a vehicle, but you want fuel efficiency and you want a pretty relatively inexpensive-ish BMW coupe, you know, $60,000 isn't all that much when you look at today's market and what other vehicles are going for and the cost of everything in today's world. Uh, you can get a very nice BMW for just above the average price of a new vehicle for today's market. And still in sport mode, second gear, here we go. Again, not all that loud, but the shifts are also pretty quick too. So while it's not the fastest four series, it's got some get up and go to it. The shifts are also very smooth for downshifting as well. So there's the built-in rev matching just to give you more of that luxury drive for this coupe. And then we can tone it down into comfort where we have the different graphics there, a little bit different throttle response, not, not quite as loud. It's, it still sounds about the same with all three of the driving modes but this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the new four series. I've been able to drive the M440 as well as the M4 for the 25 year model. So take a look at those separate reviews so you can see all of the new four series and what they have to offer. But we have basically the entry level four series right here, very well equipped. We have the interior lighting, a lot of nice options for this. And if you just want a, a very nice luxury style coupe. There's several other coupes out there. Some are going to be in the same price range, so it's pretty competitive with other brands and what they have to offer. But the seats are super comfortable. I like the support that they have to offer. And it just gives you a really nice vehicle to drive. You can also get all wheel drive. This is the rear wheel drive version. So if you need a little bit more grip, all wheel drive is available for the four series. It also has a very sharp turning radius, which is very helpful. And it revved out a little higher in a normal automatic there. So you got some fun factors to the four series here, the 430. But that's going to wrap it up for the 2025 BMW 430i. Once again, huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing this for me today. Take a look at their website, give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.